and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> man, it's, it's high hopes for you right now, man. Describe the experience being out here in Las Vegas at the Mayweather bo Boxing Gym. It's a cool experience. The best thing was sparring in front of Floyd, but yeah. other than that, it's all right. Hey, you, you heard Floyd, he was yelling. He was like, we signing that boy, we signing that boy. <laughs> hey, it's man. It is what yeah, it that's is. that's nice, that's nice. Yeah, you, I mean, it gets no better than that, right? right? You got Floyd Mayweather talking about signing you already, and you ain't even turned pro yet. Yeah, let's, hey. see, let's see if his actions speak as loud as his words. Real talk, yeah. real talk. And the sport will live on, you know, with you know, me, me and Al Heyman working hand in hand. Um, there's only three fighters that's in boxing right now that's probably not working with me and Al. And that would be Cotto, Pacquiao, and um, Canelo. And as you know, um, I fought all three of those fighters. But you know, every fighter, you know, basically, Boxing is ours at this particular time. So I knew, you know, if, if you want to be in the business, you have to come through us. So you think you think the Al Heyman PPC train is going to be like like the NBA, the NFL? It's, it's, it's not really, it's, it's not really the, the Al Heyman PPC train. I mean, it's it's you know we're one. It's safe to say. There's no difference from somebody saying TMT and somebody saying Mayweather promotions. It's all it's all the same. Mm -hmm. It's under it's all under one umbrella. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? You know, I'll tell you a funny story. Me and Floyd Mayweather coincidentally actually discovered Shakur Stevenson the exact same time, the exact same day at Floyd Mayweather's gym. Matter of fact, that clip I just played for you guys with uh, Shakur Stevenson talking about uh, having Floyd Mayweather watch him spar for the first time, that was that day right there. So I come to the Mayweather gym to watch uh, Devin Haney and some other kids spar and all of a sudden I see this kid walking around with this USA apparel on and you already know when somebody comes in the gym with USA gear on, you know they're most likely a big deal. Most of the time, not all the time. So I found out he was about to spar against Devin Haney, then I start hearing other boxers like my man Marcellus Williams and other people tell me that Shakur Stevenson is no joke he's an Olympic hopeful etc 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 so he gets in there and he spars with Devin Haney and they go at it and keep in mind before uh, Devin Haney sparred with Shakur Stevenson Devin Haney he has or he had a reputation of dominating pretty much everybody he went in that ring and sparred with grown men it didn't matter and you know Devin Haney was only like 16 at the time 16 going on 17. So I was used to him dominating everyone that he sparred with. So all of a sudden he's sparring with Shakur Stevenson. And once again, Floyd Mayweather is there watching. And we're all, you know, trying to see what this kid Stevenson is about. All of a sudden, it's a different type of sparring session for Devin Haney. And we're getting more of a 50-50 type of competitive sparring session. Now I do want to know. Shakur Stevenson was a little bit smaller than Devin Haney but Shakur Stevenson had a little bit more experience than Devin Haney now for those of you guys who watched the video you've seen the sparring session already I have the footage up of uh, Devin Haney and Shakur sparring but uh, you know at the request of Devin Haney's father I took the sparring session down but I will put the sparring session back up after the Olympics I'm gonna put the whole thing back up after the Olympics is is over with but you know with that being said like I said Floyd Mayweather he was watching him for the first time and you could hear Floyd Mayweather yelling out oh man I'm signing this boy and he said it's all right don't worry about it Devin y'all gonna be working together y'all gonna both be working with me you know he yelling out all kind of stuff like that and as you guys heard in that clip with Shakur Stevenson he said let's just hope Floyd Mayweather's action speak as loud as his words and when we fast forward to present day now we know that Floyd Mayweather's actions do speak as loud as his words 
because Floyd Mayweather, he admitted that he went to Brazil to support the American team, of course. But he said his main goal going to Brazil was to sign Shakur Stevenson. Matter of fact, let me quote um, exactly what he said on his Twitter. I came all the way to Brazil to support athletes of the United States, but while enjoying the events, I had one goal in mind, and that was to extend a warm welcome to Shakur Stevenson into the Money Team family. Now, I want to make it very clear. This doesn't guarantee that Shakur Stevenson is signing with Floyd Mayweather because, first of all, technically, it's against uh, amateur boxing international rules for a boxer to sign with someone before they conclude their amateur career. So we really don't know uh, what's been discussed yet. Obviously, we know Floyd Mayweather, that's his main goal is to sign Stevenson. I mean, right now, Shakur Stevenson is the number one draft pick. And there's other people in the runnings as well trying to sign him. You got Rock Nation. You know, they throwing their bid in as well. And the fact that Andre Ward is from the Bay and he's with Rock Nation. Shakur Stevenson already said that Andre Ward is his favorite fighter. I'm not saying that, you know, that alone suggests that he's going to go with Rock Nation, but it is important to mention. But this is what I will say. It would logically make much more sense for Shakur Stevenson to sign with Mayweather Promotions rather than sign with anyone else. Because as Floyd Mayweather said in the clip at the beginning of this video, when you sign with Mayweather Promotions, you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting Mayweather Promotions and you're getting the PBC, Al Heyman, etc., etc. That There's nothing bigger than that. Right now, Al Heyman is the biggest entity in boxing right now. He is there. No one is bigger than Al Heyman right now. Al Heyman is putting on the majority of fight cards. Al Heyman has more undefeated, very talented prospects than any other promoter right now. And if they get what is perceived as the next Floyd Mayweather, Shakur Stevenson, especially assuming Shakur Stevenson wins a gold medal. That is the missing piece of the puzzle. You heard Floyd Mayweather say we pretty much have everyone except for Canelo, Manny Pacquiao, and Cotto. But let me tell you something. If they get the real next Floyd Mayweather, man, that is a monopoly. That's boardwalk on a Monopoly board right there. That's how big it is to sign Shakur Stevenson, okay? I mean, once again, when you look at all of the talent that is underneath the Al Heyman and Mayweather umbrella, there is no promoter competing with Al Heyman. I mean, you look at Oscar De La Hoya Golden Boy Promotions, do you guys see the next Floyd Mayweather there? Do you guys see anyone coming out of Golden Boy Promotions that looks like the next pound for pound, you know, superstar? Canelo Alvarez is the closest thing to being a star on the Golden Boy Promotions banner. But the problem is Canelo Alvarez does not have the skill to sustain or even elevate his star status. Because when you have a, I mean, realistically, when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, picture Canelo Alvarez going up against Demetrius Andre, the Charlo brothers, Julian Williams, or picture him moving up to middleweight to face bigger guys like Danny Jacobs, Gennady Golovkin. Do you really see Canelo Alvarez beating those guys? Do you see him beating any of those guys? Do you even see him fighting any of those guys? Now, who knows? Anything is possible. He may surprise us all and fight Gennady Golovkin or Danny Jacobs. But it's going to be an uphill battle for him. So let's just say, if Canelo Alvarez loses, then the Golden Boy ship sinks. It sinks to the bottom. Because right now, Canelo Alvarez is that plug 
that's preventing more water from seeping in that golden boy ship, if you know what I mean. When it comes to Al Heyman, Al Heyman and, and Mayweather, they can afford to have one of their stars lose. Oscar De La Hoya, he cannot afford to have the one star that he has. He can't afford to have him lose. He has to keep winning. And that's going to be very difficult. Okay? So this is the reason why Al Heyman getting the next generation Mayweather underneath his banner, or I should say Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather, they get Shakur Stevenson, man, it's a wrap. I mean, it's already been a wrap. But now to get a talent like Stevenson on the roster, you can forget about it. Floyd Mayweather said it himself. Eventually, you're going to have to come through us, meaning Mayweather Promotions and Al Heyman, to make the big fights. And that's the way it's starting to pan out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.